Elongate the neck. And begin to breathe deeply. Soften the jaw by separating the top and bottom row of your teeth. Let your tongue pull down and away from the bottom row of teeth. And feel how that softens the back of the jaw and down the sides of your neck. The throat chakra is going to govern our communication. When it is open and working well, we speak clearly, we write clearly, we communicate clearly, but we also listen very well, and that's listening to others and also listening to yourself. So we're gonna practice active listening here this morning as you might do the practice with your eyes closed, following the sound of my voice, but also listening to your body this morning, making any and all changes, taking rest if you feel that come upon you. We're gonna wiggle our fingers and our toes now, start to reawaken ourselves. We're gonna go into our very first Throat opening pose, a version of fish pose right away this morning. So slide those hands under your body, palms face the floor. Palms are tucked under the glutes. The legs come a little closer to one another. Important here, you're gonna press 100% effort into the elbows and forearms, and the top of your head is going to kiss the mat with only about 5% force. So you're gonna lift up, look at your own toes, Tilt your head back as the top of the head gently touches the floor for a moment. You may open or close the eyes. It is the eyes that make this a little bit like a fish. In the name of the pose. Take just one more inhale there with an open throat. And then exhale 100% effort into the elbows. Tuck the chin and the head comes right back down on the back of the head. Release the hands and pull both knees into your chest. Give them a nice big hug. Roll or massage the low back. Let go of any tension. We're slowly going to bring those knees to whichever side you like best and make your way slowly to standing. As we come to standing this morning, we're going to do sun salutation B because it has the most use of your throat. So spreading the toes wide, standing tall, looking forward. Let's take an inhale together, bend our knees, bring our hands over our head. I want you to look up at your thumbs, look up, throat again is open. Exhale, straighten the legs and forward fold down, tucking the chin in towards your chest. Inhale, half lift, touching those knees, lengthening the back, opening again the throat. Exhale, draw the chin down and the hands down to your mat. Step back to high plank and lower your body, knees, thighs, stomach, and nose. Inhale, little cobra again, opening the throat. And exhale, looking down. Pressing back to downward facing dog from kneeling, hips lift. Inhale, the right foot steps forward between the hands. Rise those hands from your mat, warrior one. We look up again, our throat is opening. Exhale, the hands come down gently. Step back to high plank and lower your body. Inhale, open the throat, upward dog or cobra. Exhale, lower the face, tucking the chin, pressing back to kneeling and lifting the hips downward facing dog. Inhale, the left foot steps up between your hands. You rise up to warrior one, look up. And exhale, come all the way back down. Step back and lower your body. 
Inhale, one more cobra. Downward dog, slowly through that kneeling this morning and lifting the hips. As you're in your downward dog, take two more inhales. And then inhale, look at your thumbs. Exhale, step forward. Half lift, opening the chin and chest. Exhale, slide back down. Inhale, now, uh, chair pose. Knees are bent, open the chin towards the sky. And then exhale, standing tall, arms by your side. Two more times like this. Inhale, knees bend, arms go up, look up, open the chin and chest. Exhale, straighten the legs, reach forward and down. Inhale, half lift again, lengthening the front of your throat and exhale back down. Inhale, step back to high plank and maybe now lowering the body, Chaturanga Dandasana or still knees first. Inhale, cobra or now up dog, exhale through to downward dog. Inhale, rotate the left foot, right foot steps forward, warrior one. Good. Exhale, hands come down, step back and lower your body. Inhale, cobra or up dog, exhale downward dog, inhale left foot steps forward, lift the arms warrior one, exhale hands come down, step back and lower your body, inhale, Exhale, downward dog. Nod the head yes or shake the head no. Look forward at your thumbs. Exhale, step back to the hands. Half lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, mountain. Bending the knees into that chair pose. Standing tall, arms by your side. Last round, here we go. Inhale, knees bend, arms up. Thinking about the movements of our neck. Exhale, legs straighten as we forward fold down, tucking the chin into the chest. Inhale, half lift, lengthen again from the neck. And exhale, lower back down. Stepping back, high plank. Lowering your body through Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, tuck your chin, downward dog. Inhale, left foot steps forward. Rise your arms up to warrior one. Look up, feel the chin or front of your throat opening. And exhale, nose it closing as you come down, stepping back and lowering your body. Inhale. Exhale, downward dog. Taking just two final deep breaths in here. We're going to look forward at our thumbs. Exhale, step back to the hands. Half lift. Exhale, release. Inhale, chair pose. Knees bend, arms to the sky. Exhale, set a seat to your arms by your side. Good. Let's step out towards the long edge of our mat. So we're facing the longer edge. 
We'll turn our right toes towards the front or towards the right short edge. Arms rise up. Draw the arms to the right and right hand down. When you think about your neck here in triangle pose, turn the eyes, the chin towards the ceiling. So in yoga, there are three main walks we do in the body. And this morning, we're going to really think about the throat lock. So we're gently going to constrict our throat now. So as you breathe in and out, it might remind you of Darth Vader. It might just make your breath sound very loud in your ears. Taking an inhale that way. And as you exhale, come up slowly out of triangle. Spiral the feet. Take the same pose on the opposite side. So in a throat walk, we don't necessarily have to draw our chin down. That is normally practiced in the seated pose. But throughout our practice, we're working on gently that constriction of the vocal cords that cause a vibration as we breathe. Sometimes I think it sounds like, aha. Last inhale. And then from here, rise up slowly to the warrior two position. So as you lift, that left knee will bend and you'll look over your left fingertips. You might need to wiggle those toes on the right foot further back, deepening if you need to into the hips. This is a good one to draw the chin down and create that sound in your voice or in your breath. Turn the left palm up to the ceiling at this moment. Begin to reach it all the way up. Look up now. Open that throat one more time to the ceiling or sun. Taking a deep breath in through the nose. And exhale, begin to bend that left knee again. One more inhale. And exhale, lower the arms, straighten both legs, turn your left toes to the long edge and the right toes back once again to the short. Bend your right knee, rise those arms to warrior two. Holding here. I said the breath when you're breathing in a constricted throat sounds like aha. Uh -huh. Many say it sounds like himsa, which is a Sanskrit word that just means I am the breath. So maybe you can create that sound effect with your breath as a constant mantra this morning that I am the breath. Turning the front palm up towards the ceiling as you draw the right hand to the sky. The chin opens, the throat opens. Peaceful warrior, reverse warrior, however you know this pose. Last breath in. And then once again, lowering the arms, straightening both legs and turning all 10 toes to the short or long edge of your mat again. Reach the arms over the head, look up. Exhale, arms go wide as you go down, leading with your chin. Keep those hands wide, please, onto the legs. They slide. They might reach the shins, the ankles, 
or they might even hook onto your big toes. Now while we're here in our wide angle pose, just practice the position of your neck for me. Take little inhales to draw your nose and chin forward. And then exhale, pull on your legs, tuck your chin in and imagine the top of your head touching your mat. Do it a few times. Inhale, always drawing forward, lifting or extending the chin forward. And then exhale, tucking the chin back in and down. This position bringing lots of blood flow to the neck, to the head. And we're connecting it with our deep sounding breath. Last inhale. Place the hands onto your mat. Step your feet one at a time to high plank. Lower your body down to the mat slowly. Take a cobra as you inhale. And exhale, sit back in child's pose. Chin tucked in. Use this child's pose to notice the sound of your breath. It becomes very loud when your face is towards the floor. Slowly and gently. We're going to roll up like we did yesterday, the front edge of our mat, and that's just so our knees have extra thick cushioning under the knees. And then we'll pull our knees onto those soft, extra thick parts of our mat. This is our peak of our class, the hardest pose of the day. It is camel again. So I'll turn sideways just to explain it. You can have your hands most modified on the low back and just open the throat okay or if you want to try a little more advanced this morning sit back on the heels start by holding your heels this morning we're going to be up there for five full breaths so either option we're going to lift those hips open the throat towards the sky and begin to breathe now Beautiful, tucking the chin, lowering the body back down. Taking your hands immediately in front of you, interlace your fingers and place the top of your head in that hand. Don't worry, no headstand this morning. Just lift the hips up off your, or bum off your heels though. Get noticing of the pressure there, the crown of the head, but more importantly that the chin is sort of come in towards your breastbone. Relax the feet, unroll the front of your mat, and once again, come back to child's pose. It's important this morning that you let your forehead rest in child's pose. If it's not fully touching the floor, please put a fist underneath your head and make sure that that forehead is resting on your fist. Because when our forehead can rest, we can open the jaw, relax the tongue. Slowly and gently come to kneeling. Hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips. Do a lion's breath pose next. 
Don't worry, it's only me that you really see doing it. We're gonna do a big cow pose. And when we do our cow pose, we're actually gonna stick our tongue out. We're gonna imagine our tongue touching our chin. So we're gonna take an exhale first. Let's breathe out and cat our back. And then we're gonna breathe in, go to cow pose, belly dropping, eyes to the ceiling, lengthen out your tongue to your chin. And then round the back once again. Exhale the breath, cat the back. Now you can do it again. We're gonna do lion breath again. You might make a big exhale through your mouth as you open up, cow pose, tongue to chin. Round the back one final time. Last lion's breath, chin, belly falling, eyes to the ceiling, tongue extending out to the chin. And then draw the back nice and flat. Good. Come to lying on your back. Ready for bridge pose, which we have done every or last couple mornings for sure. So the feet are hip distance apart as you come to your back. And we know that this one closes our throat, so really nice one to settle now. So we're gonna lift the hips high, hands can interlace underneath you if you'd like that option. Just trying to really draw the breastbone up to the chin. Closing off or slowing down the blood flow to that area. We talked a little bit about communication and this chakra. It also governs things like sore throats or swollen glands, hypothyroidism, metabolism there, and sleep and awake cycles. So balancing the hormones that are there at your thyroid. Taking one more breath in our bridge separating the hands and just articulating the back gently onto the floor. We'll do one more version of that fish pose that we started class with to finish. So again, the palms today are gonna to be beside you. Now, not under your bum, but right close beside you. Your knees are still bent, feet flat on the floor. We're gonna press into those elbows. We're gonna lift our head up, tip our head backwards, top of the head, Kissing the floor gently there. Now, see if you can raise two legs off the mat. So maybe the knees are bent, the feet have just come off the floor. That's okay, you still feel lots of the strength in the glutes and tailbone. Take both arms and lift them up to the sky, palms pressing together. If the knees extend, then there you are, the full, more advanced version of fish. If not, knees are bent, arms are back down, please lower them now. Feet back down, press into the elbows, lift and tuck your chin and lower down. Slide the legs to corpse pose. Nod the head yes or shake it no. Soften and release that throat lock so that the breath in the next moment is almost silent. You just might notice the rise and fall of the belly. 